It is total baloney that you cannot eat, whole food plant-based, SOS-free while traveling. This is a two minute trail mix. I'm gonna show you how to make real quick that you can take anywhere with you so you'll never have to worry about what you and your family are gonna eat when you're outside of the home. All you're gonna need are different seeds, nuts, and dried fruit. And today I'll be using some cacao nibs to add a little chocolatey flavor. So that's all the sweetness and saltiness you're gonna need. You don't have to add any extra sugar, oil, or salt to this recipe to make it taste delicious. So I happen to have some sunflowers, pumpkin seeds, almonds, pecans, and walnuts. And then in the pantry, I had the cacao nibs, apricots, prunes, currants, and both different types of raisins. So that's what I'll be using in our trail mix today. But you can also use things like dates and mango and pineapple. There are plenty of different kinds of seeds. You can use various kinds of nuts like peanuts or hazelnuts or cashews. I just happen to have almonds, pecans, and walnuts in my freezer. Walnuts tend to have the most omega-3s and almonds have the most calcium. Pumpkin seeds have tons of iron. Each of these are going to provide a different nutritional profile that are very beneficial to health and will keep you feeling full and satisfied. The ingredients we're gonna use in this trail mix are not conducive to weight loss, just FYI. <laughs> so the dried fruit is really high in calories as well as the nuts, seeds, and cacao nibs, which are high in fat. So these are just to keep your hunger at bay while you're away from the home. So all you're gonna need is just some kind of bag and your ingredients. You're just gonna throw everything together. I used about a quarter cup of each ingredient. So there's my pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and these both are going to be raw and unsalted. It's important that you don't destroy those fatty acids when it comes to seeds and nuts. So you wanna keep them in the freezer and definitely don't heat them up. So here is a quarter cup of almonds quarter cup of pecans, quarter cup of walnuts. And now we're gonna add our sweetener. Okay, so it's about a quarter cup of regular raisins, a quarter cup of golden raisins, a quarter cup of currants. These are similar to raisins. They're just like tiny raisins. They taste very similar. I'm going to chop up the apricots and the prunes a little bit, just to give them nice bite-sized pieces. You don't necessarily have to chop them if you don't have time or if you don't want to. See how sticky and gooey these are? They are very concentrated with sugar. There's absolutely no reason to add sugar to already sweetened dried fruit. This is naturally sweetened. It's actually a little too sweet for my liking but that doesn't stop me from totally over consuming on this stuff. I'm just really sensitive and anytime I have a little taste of um, something hyper sweet and concentrated like this, I'll just eat the whole thing. So this will not last in my house very long. I'll actually probably throw it in my baby girl's smoothies to add some sweetness and some fat. See how sticky that stuff is. Just gonna add it to our bag. Now for those chocolate lovers, I'm going to be adding a little bit of cow nibs. Maybe an eighth of a cup. You really don't need much. It's very flavorful. And now you just mix it up. This is a great recipe to make with your kiddos. They love tossing this bag around. And that's it. If you enjoyed that recipe, make sure you like this video. It's just important that you make this personally because commercial trail mixes are full of salt, sugar, and oil. You don't need all these additives. These are perfectly sweet and perfectly fattening on their own. You don't have to add any oil to a bunch of nuts, seeds, and dried fruit. This is also a lot cheaper than if you had bought some store commercial brand because they'll give you a tiny little bit of trail mix for a lot of money. This will last you days and it's much cheaper to just make it yourself. And that way you know what's in it and what's not in it. I actually had to make this recently because we took a trip to Utah, the family and I, and 
As you know, airports are ridiculous when it comes to finding whole food plant-based SOS free food. There is not a fruit or a vegetable in sight. In most places, there are some, you know, exceptions here and there, but for the most part, we were in smaller airports that did not accommodate for those types of food preferences. So you don't have to refrigerate this and it will stay good for weeks. My family and I were able to enjoy this on the plane and waiting around in airports. We had two carryovers. So this was a lifesaver. You can only pack so many apples and bananas into your carry-on. Again, just make sure you're buying dried fruit that does not have any additives, no oil, no sugar, and make sure your nuts and seeds are raw and they do not have added oils. And you are going to be enjoying a whole food plant-based SOS free snack whenever you need to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you'd like more recipes and I will see you in the next one.